the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is addressed to the Prime Minister. Why did the Prime Minister deny using the phrase Shanghai Sam, something he did at least 17 times, including in this House? Prime Minister has the call. Well, Mr. Speaker, I understand that the Leader of the Opposition is a busy member of Parliament, and he may not have had the opportunity to hear the interview I did uh, later that afternoon when I returned from visiting left. the bushfires uh, with the member for Right. There was a question that was put at the end of a press conference where I was standing next to the recovery centre, and Mr. Speaker, I heard the word racism used twice in that question, and that's what I was referring to. So, Mr. Speaker. If the best that the Leader of the Opposition can drum up is that withering attack, Mr Speaker, then I'm sure there's a lot of optimistic people who sit on the back bench of the Labor Party who can see a big opportunity for themselves. My question is again to the Prime Minister, and I refer to his previous answer. In his statement to the media, the Prime Minister said he hadn't used, and I quote, either of those phrases. If one of the phrases he thought he'd been asked about was an accusation that something was racist, what was the other phrase if it wasn't Shanghai Sam? <laughs> the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Members Speaker. on both sides. Mr. Speaker. Members on both sides. I refer member, again, for Goldstein, sir. member for Goldstein's preventing the Prime Minister answering the question. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I refer the member to my earlier answer. The phrase racist was used twice in the question. That's what I heard. That's what I was referring to when I said I, was, I had used neither of those phrases, Mr Speaker. Now, Mr Speaker, if the Leader of the Opposition honestly thinks that this, this is the best he can do— Last week, the Leader of the Opposition lamely came for Sydney. up here and, and did for something, Mr warned. Speaker, which Leader of the Oppositions rarely do unless they really think they've locked it up when they called on a me, me to have one of my members resign, Mr Speaker. Now, you don't do that lightly. And he did that in this place on one day, and the next day he didn't even mention it. Mr Speaker, that is the weakness and lameness of this Leader of the Opposition. So what is he doing all day? Pouring over transcripts, worrying about this word and that word. Mr Speaker, this country is in drought. This country is facing natural disasters. This country is facing severe economic challenges. And the Leader of the Opposition is, is running around like a researcher looking up grabs. Grow up! My question is again to the Prime Minister, and I again refer to his previous answers. Is the reason the Prime Minister used the phrase Shanghai Sam at least 17 times the same reason he supported weakened protections against racist hate speech and university-level English tests for new citizens. The Prime Mr. Minister Speaker, has call. the uh, Leader of the Opposition once said at the National Press Club, he said this. Members on my left. Said, I'm, re I'm reminded of it, Mr Speaker. Members on my left. Talking about serious people Prime for serious Minister. times, Mr. Speaker. I'm not going to Prime table Minister it because he gets enough publicity carrying on with this nonsense every single day, Mr. Speaker. Mm. But, Mr. Speaker, I, I'm asked about this government's views effectively on the integrity of our immigration system and the rules that we imply, the rules we impose to ensure the surety of that system and to ensure cohesion in Australian society. Now, Mr Speaker, our government makes no apology for our policies when it comes to the integrity of our immigration system. We make no apologies for the work that we've done on border protection that have kept our borders secure and ensures that all Australians can have confidence in an immigration system which has made this country the most effective and the most successful immigration nation on earth. Mr Speaker, multicultural Australia— The manager of opposition Business is raising a point of order. Yeah. The three issues that the question refers to, Mr Speaker, go to the phrase Shanghai Sam, go to the laws against racist hate speech, and go to citizenship tests. And the Prime Minister is speaking about none of the three. Well the Prime Minister was just mentioning multiculturalism, so I thought after after his preamble he was coming to 
some of the points that are in the question. So the Prime Minister, I'll, I'll listen to the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I was about to speak about the importance of multiculturalism in Australia. And Australia has the most successful multicultural record of any nation in the world today. And the Member policies that we've pursued as a government have only made that stronger. Member for McMahon, we've made, those, is we've made them stronger, Mr. Speaker, the and we'll continue Minister, to make them stronger. Prime Minister, will pause. Member for McMahon will leave understanding order 94A. Prime Minister has the call. But thank you, Mr. Speaker. But on the first matter which the member raised, the reason we have foreign interference laws in Australia is because of the former Senator Dastyari, Mr. Speaker, and the Labor Party should well know that. Their record on this issue is an absolute shambles, and they can try and distract and uh, attention from their own rows, where it's because of the New South Wales ALP branch of the Labor Party and their plastic bags and cash, or the disastrous role of the former Senator Astiari, Mr Speaker, and the fact that he had to resign because of his own actions. They can run from these issues, Mr Speaker, but they can never hide, Mr Speaker, and nor, nor can they hide from what the Labor leader in New South Wales said before the last state election that Asians would take their jobs, that Asians would take Australian jobs, Mr Speaker. That's the truth of the Labor Party. That's in fact why they were started, Mr Speaker.